Turning to Trumbull County, where a Bezetta man is facing charges. Police say he admitted to making up a story about his car being stolen. First News reporter Nadine Grimley was in court for his arraignment, spoke with investigators about how the case unfolded. Michael Hensley is out of jail on a personal recognizance bond. He pleaded not guilty to charges of arson and making false alarms in Central District Court this morning. Hensley is accused of making up a story about his SUV being stolen from his driveway on December 11th. He called 911 to report the theft. I heard a noise outside. I come out, they were already in the car. They actually took off down the driveway. And I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I actually tapped off a couple of shots at them, tearing down my driveway, and they took off up 305. Police say a little more than seven hours after reporting the crime, the SUV was found nearby, smoldering in the woods by Imagination Station. Investigators say surveillance video from a nearby business shed some light on how the vehicle got there. Some subjects that near the time that he called this in uh, matched the description of the clothing that he was wearing the time that he called us. Police say after questioning Hensley again, he told officers what really happened. He admitted that he had done this himself. Uh, he's trying to, to recoup some of the money, maybe because of a vehicle that he bought that was damaged uh, upon purchase. According to a police report, Hensley told officers he felt the vehicle was unsafe and that he made up the story out of desperation and fear he wouldn't be able to afford the SUV. We felt that uh, when he came in and gave his confession that he was genuine. Uh, it, you know, he was emotional about what he had done, seemed remote, remorseful, uh, was very concerned about his family. Hensley's wife was in court for his arraignment. She didn't want to speak on camera, but told us he's a good man. Hensley is due back in court on January 4th. In Bazetta, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.